earlier recommended that if we could increase our advocacy in local dialects, in languages and in ways that people could um, relate with, I think it will obviously be better. We we'll spread the message faster, and then um, we'll get more cooperation from the people. Uh, one more before I let you go. Um, the people in the front line, including yourself and other doctors, have had really um, valid concerns over the course of the uh, efforts to contain this virus. What would you, um, you know, how would, what would be your assessment of the response of government to health practitioners and the concerns that they've expressed in the past months, even with those that even at this point are taking on strike as an alternative um, to getting the needed attention? Well, it's unfortunate that um, industrial action took place uh, recently uh, among, I mean, that helped people, particularly from the people. Uh, it's important that government take, all governments take uh, doctors seriously and they are the first ones, indeed all health workers, give them their welfare very seriously and take good care of them, equip them with the resources to deliver the goods. Um, so where you find doctors more is at the creative end. But we also need doctors to play a role in preventing the measures, communicating to the people, maybe public health response, let them engage them, let them go into the community, um, let them also engage all those town criers at the local level, work with them. Um, the chiefs and the kings at the local level propagate because we need prevention more than cure. I did actually say prevention is better than cure. So, but the, at, at the curative level, let the doctors also be well uh, remunerated, well taken care of, and I think it will all end in grace. All right, uh, Dr. Balogu, thank you very much for your time and the insights you've provided on this conversation. You're welcome. Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, Boss Mustafa, has said that failure by many Nigerians to believe in the existence of coronavirus posed a great challenge to the fight against the pandemic by the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19. Mustafa, who expressed the dismay over the low level of compliance with the rules of engagement put in place by the government to tackle the pandemic, noted that many Nigerians have continued to flout the directives to observe social distancing, wear face masks, use hand sanitizers and subject themselves to temperature testing, while some even say the pandemic is a hoax. Represented by the Permanent Secretary, Adekunle Olushegun, the SGF urged Nigerians to protect themselves and others from being infected by observing all government and health authorities' laid-down protocols. We go to Kano State, where the government has cancelled all traditional Salah festivities to celebrate the Eid al-Kabir in the state. The Commissioner for Information, Mohamed Gadaba, says the decision was reached by the state's executive council as part of its efforts to consolidate and current gains made in the management of the coronavirus pandemic. Gadaba, however, says Muslim faithful are permitted to attend congregational prayer, but under strict supervision by government officials. As part of efforts of the state government, to consolidate on the success it so far achieved in the fight against COVID-19 and the relaxation of lockdown in many states of the Federation. Kano State Executive Council, after due deliberation, orders and endorsed the cancellation of traditional Salah festivity to celebrate the Eid al-Kabir in the state. All festivity as far as the issue of Salah, just like what was observed in the last Eid al-Fitr, has been endorsed and counseled by the State Executive Council. However, the Council grants approval for the conduct of Eid congregational prayers across the state under the strict observance of safety protocol, which are to be supervised by government officials. 
The federal government on Thursday said pupils in Nigeria might be forced to sit for the general certificate examination in November if the country failed to meet up with this year's timetable for the West African Senior School Certificate Examination. The government explained that it might become necessary since the West African Examination Council could not shift its West African Senior School Certificate Examination scheduled to commence on August 4. The Minister of State for Education, Chukwemeka Wajuba, mentioned this while answering questions from journalists during the press conference of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19. He, however, said that should Nigeria be able to meet up with WIAC timetable, there was already a negotiated timeline to move language subjects such as Igbo, Yoruba and Hausa as offered in Nigeria behind as first written subjects to allow all participating countries the needed time to write the general subjects at the same time. 